Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. So I mentioned in my last video that I wanted to start Polaroid photography as a new hobby. If you haven't watched my last video, just click up there where the icon is and you'll find my video there. I also started a new Instagram account just for my Polaroid photography. If you want to follow that, check it out. Link will be down below. So I'm just going to talk about the cameras I use and my experience so far. All right, so the first Polaroid camera that I bought for myself was the Polaroid Sun 600 LMS. So this is a pretty neat looking camera, pretty reliable, I like it. I've had it for, I think, more than a year, a little bit over a year. Half the pictures on my account are from this camera. So far, all the pictures from that camera have come out pretty great. There's like two times that a picture came out bad, and that was because one time I was shooting at night, I had the light switch all the way to dark for some reason, so the picture just came out completely black and then another time was in a room that I thought was well lit so I didn't use flash it also came out all black next camera that I got the Polaroid Spectra system I think this is my favorite camera to shoot with the pictures are wider I like this camera not only because of that but because you kind of have some control over what you can do with it so we have a timer we have uh, autofocus flash lighten and darken settings and then there's like a thing that like lets you change like the sound of or to on or off. I don't know if it makes sounds right now. So it just made some sound. I think that's because like the there's no film in here. It's out. It's pretty cool because when you put your like eye through like the lens there's like when you press down halfway on the button it like gives you a light. It gives you a number. You can change it to feet or meters but it gives you a number based on whatever you picked and it tells you, I guess, how far the subject is. It'll like give you a green light if like there's like good conditions for a photo, and it will give you like this yellow triangle saying that you need to adjust. The next camera that I bought was this Polaroid One Step 600. I still don't know if it works. I've only tested it indoors. All the pictures have come out black. So I'm assuming it's because there's not enough light indoors for it to actually develop a good picture. I'm actually hoping it's just that because I would really like to use this camera. I mean, look look at it. It looks pretty it looks pretty swaggy. I'm going to test it out maybe today after I make this video. I'm going to go test it outdoors. Hopefully it works. If not, I'll just keep it as like a collector item. Whenever I buy Polaroid cameras, I usually go to vintage shops around here, thrift shops. It's kind of like a gamble because if you go online, these cameras are all like 100 and up. That's quite a bit of money for one camera. If I see a camera that's like 20 and under, I'll usually take a risk and buy it. I believe that camera was $24. I took a swing at it and hopefully it works because then $24 is gone oh well and then the most recent camera that I bought was this Polaroid One Step SX70 I got this on eBay I also got it cheap the person that was selling it was selling it untested that makes the cameras cheaper but there's also that risk of the cameras not working so I got this and at first I thought it was I'm like oh it's broken because the photos came out super overexposed these were my first two test pictures as you can see, they're like super overexposed and it's pretty blurry. I did some research because I was like, my camera can't be broken. I mean, the photos are coming out. What I heard was that there prob there's probably like some gunk on the light sensor. I don't know how to clean that and I don't want to take this camera apart and not be able to put it back together, so I'm not taking the risk. But I found out that a solution would be to switch the dial all the way to darken, which is what I did. Here is a picture I took with that camera with the setting all the way to darken. So as you can see, it came out pretty good. But another solution I got for that camera was to use an ND filter, neutral density filter. That way it like reduces the amount of light that hits the picture. That way you don't have to like set the setting all the way to darken. I think this is a really cool camera. This is like my aesthetic camera just because it makes everything look all aesthetic-y. Also, my friends for my birthday got me a Polaroid Snap. This is the camera. I want to say it's a digital camera, but it's not. But it, I mean, it is. I mean, there's like a micro SD slot. There's a USB thing. So also it has a magnetic camera cover thing lens cover. Well, the pictures come out the same size as like the Instax cameras. My friends know that I don't like the Instax cameras at all. I think the pictures are too tiny and then the cameras themselves are just super ugly to me. They're more of like a, a little party toy thing. This is probably not something I would use for shooting on my account but I think it's something that I could use at like parties or get togethers just because the pictures come out like pretty small you can put them in a wallet they also come out as stickers because they use like the zinc 
film thing. They come out pretty small and yeah, they're stickers so you can like stick them somewhere if you really want to. Here's a test picture I took of my cat. Like the picture's kind of like rolled up a bit. I don't know why, but I think it's because it's like a sticker. And as you can see, I did it with the border. There's an option to do it without the border. It's kind of weird because like the viewfinder doesn't like actually show you what the picture's gonna come out like. So that's why there's like all this space down here. But it's like that as well for the other Polaroids. There's not really much of like a shift in what you see, but in the Polaroid Snap there is. But yeah, those are the cameras I'm shooting with. I don't know if you can see them, but they're all like over here. Hopefully I get better at taking Polaroid pictures. I've seen some pretty amazing accounts on Instagram of people who just do Polaroid photography, and I'm just like, wow, that inspires me. But that's it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. And if you want to follow me on social media stuff, so you can follow me on social media stuff down below. All right, bye guys.